Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump Bombshell channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ariana Medix and Katie Maloney may have only established their new sandwich shop, something about her in late May, but they've already made a lot of money off their merchandise. Months into their West Hollywood run, the Vanderpump Rules stars have cemented their presence in the neighborhood, with large lineups of fans frequently forming outside their eatery. However, they may be making more money from their popular merchandise. According to recently filed court records revealed on Reddit this week, Ariana, 39, and Katie, 37, have earned more than $2 million from their something about her merchandise, which includes hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and hats priced between $29 and $56. Since March 2023, products bearing and sold under this S-O-N-E-T-H-I-N-G-A-B-U-T-T-A-A-R mark have generated sales in excess of $1.8 million, according to a portion of the paper. A other individual commented, On May 22, 2024, Something about her opened the physical location of this S O M E T H I N G A B A T T A A R sandwich shop in West Hollywood. Meanwhile, the Post's author noted, so it's been well over $2 million in merchandise sales. Since before March 2023, they made over $200,000. As Pump Rules followers may recall, Ariana and Katie published a line of merchandise a year before launching their restaurant, with one t-shirt paying homage to Tom Sandoval, 42, and his post a fair complaint that Ariana would leave her t-shirt on during sex. The garment, which cost $34.99, read, F me in this t-shirt, and featured a graphic photo of Ariana holding a sandwich. While Ariana and Katie's business is thriving, they were recently served with a lawsuit by their former chef, Penny Davidy, who alleges they failed to follow a partnership agreement they signed before to the restaurant's debut and have not paid her as promised. Penny was also the one who applied for a trademark for something about her, which Ariana and Katie challenged by filing their Katie own claim Maloney for the name. Focusing on the restorative techniques, she's had finished and sharing the insights regarding her simple skincare schedule. While showing up on a web recording recently, the 37-year-old Vanderpump Rules cast part talked truly about her chose methodology, sharing that while she gets Botox and filler, she gives a valiant effort to keep her utilization of filler extremely negligible. On the July 2 episode of Not Thin However Not Fat, through the day-to-day -day dish, Katie conceded that her skin was truly having a second. It is solid. I returned for Botox. I hadn't had Botox in a little. She kept noticing that she got around three units of Botox in her brow. I actually need to have development in my eyes and have the option to grin. She made sense of. I need to in any case mature and look great as I age, however, dial it back only a bit of spot. Moving to her thick temples, Katie said she hadn't done anything in years. I generally had dull, weighty temples. I got them microbladed for or a long time back and haven't got a final detail since. Katie uncovered. I know, it's insane. As per Katie, she searched out microblading to fill in sketchy regions and add evenness. Katie likewise hasn't gotten a lot of lip filler as of late. I haven't done it in perhaps 18 months. She shared, it's not something I stay aware of. It harms. And there's no place for you to go except for more. I never got filler in my cheeks or elsewhere. While Katie picks to keep a more regular look, she recognized that utilizing filler has helped the side of her face that was harmed in a close to mice mishap she had in 2009, which saw her falling through a bay window. It helps stout it up and give it somewhat more volume and more lift. She made sense of. Concerning her skincare, Katie portrayed her everyday practice as toning it down would be best. 
Toward the night's end, I do a twofold scrub since I wear sunscreen, and that will truly get into your pores. So it's keeping your face clean yet not overcomplicating it with a lot of stuff, she contemplated. I feel like once every week I could do a, a few stage skincare. Yet yeah, other than that, I'll simply clean up and put cream on it. I tidied off my red light treatment veil. You must be steady with them, she added. It will assist with the lines. However, you must be steady. The thing is you just several minutes every day. Katie's uncover was shared not long before her co-star and something about her co-proprietor, Ariana Medix, 39, and her companion and previous castmate, Stassi Schroeder, 35. On Instagram last week, Ariana told fans she gets Botox for glare lines in her external brown and in her neck and furthermore went through a system known as Elevate, which shapes and characterizes the neck and facial structure in 2019. Furthermore, she gets negligible lip filler and filler in my jawline. Positively, no filler elsewhere, she noted. Days after the fact, Sassy took to her Instagram story, where she shared subtleties on the system. implied she there's gets. truth to the gossip that her previous castmate Jax Taylor 45, attached with individual Bravola Bramoan artists, 67. As per a fan report, Jax claimed at a new party that he connected with both Ramona and Brandy Glenville. However, after the report surfaced, Brandy took to web-based entertainment and denied she at any point connected with the Vanderpump Rules star. Ramona, be that as it may, still can't seem to remark. I need to rapidly address Brandy Glanville and dress Ing, the Jax Taylor hookup gossip, expressed Lala on her Give Them Lala web recording. Through it, breaking there will spot clips on Instagram. There was a good eat about Jax and Ramona vocalist. Her co-host then panted, Stop. Would you say you are spilling the tea? Briefly, Lala didn't say anything. Investigate my eyes? She in the long run answered, assuming there's reality to it, cause a stir nearly hitting your hairline. Pause, who let you know this? Asked the co-host. I'm not telling. Lala replied, furthermore, to make sure I don't get a case with a claim. Purportedly, in a past meeting for Bravo's The Everyday Dish, Jax's alienated spouse, Brittany Cartwright, tended to her partition from Jax. We just disliked battling with one another. There wasn't any unfaithfulness. I realized that has been talk going around. It wasn't any such thing. She said at that point, it was simply not a cheerful inclination. And I was like, losing my radiance a smidgen. I began to see that. And I think after I had my child, I awakened a tad. And it caused me to acknowledge like he can experience childhood in this climate. It just wore on me following nine years of managing a character like that. We're totally different in a ton of ways, and he has filled in numerous ways too. She went on, he's simply not the most ideal accomplice at the present time, and in the event that, you know, assuming he deals with certain things, perhaps later on, we could reunite. The star proceeded to say, I'm not completely certain about that particular situation yet, Yet for this moment, the space is genuinely necessary for the two of us. I'm simply happy that I had the solidarity to at last remove myself from that situation because I didn't figure I could ever, ever at any point leave him. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.